What has been your experience uh, with this sensor? How is it different? I just have to say we have to get away of the word spike. And we as educators, we as healthcare providers have got to have Dexcom change that. Spike alert, spike, spike. It goes back to you have a good glucose uh, reading, bad glucose reading. That's the number one thing that I would love for them to change. (laughs) And I would love for us to not use that word. The education embedded in the app, I think is very impressive. I think the team did a very good job of making it bite size bits that are really like quick reads in terms of the spike detection i like the idea of it i agree with jennifer like let's try to call it something else it's not always clear though a lot of people have questions like well what what threshold causes this spike and it's not clear my understanding is it's personalized so it can be different from person to person but even within myself it was like at a time when i was like surely i'm gonna have the spike detection go off it didn't go off and then another time it did and so i think it's it's not super clear to me what prompts that the education embedded in the app is fantastic it's vetted it tells you who vetted it the resources are there and i do love that as well i i wish that there was an explanation of what is a spike and it was not in there. Um, No information on that whatsoever. 